Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to try to talk about uh, teeth and tooths and health uh, regarding uh, food, but particularly with your teeth. So um, this is an extremely important topic. Um, I'm even completely out of it in terms of how important this topic is. So I'm going to try to say that it's important, but it's probably you know, way 10 times, 100 times more important than what I'm making it out to be. Um, so I'm going to try to look at this in detail on um, uh, what's going on. So I hope this personally really helps you out. Um, I have a number of friends. I, I can't really say who exactly, but man, that they are really struggling with teeth. And, um, you know, I just wanted to dive in and see what's going on. Um, so I personally had some problems with my teeth over the years. Um, you know, I've got some fillings. Um, and then quite recently, I had a filling that fell out um, and I left it out for a little while because I was kind of afraid to go to the doctor. Um, and I'm so fortunate and thankful that I did get it filled. Um, you know, I just, I left it out and I was like, well, I need to think about this tooth stuff. So I, I kept it anyway. So. I did fill it in. Um, the doctor um, was an Asian doctor, a local doctor, um, and uh, you know it was it was pretty scary at first. But then um, you know afterwards, I feel great. I'm really thankful um, that I got the tooth uh, filled. Um, so I've also gotten um, my wisdom teeth removed, um, and I uh, um, you know they did a surgery, a special surgery for that. I was knocked out and didn't wasn't aware of it. Um, but a lot of these surgeries happen um, when you are awake, um, and it is, um, you know, I, it is kind of uh, important to really talk with a doctor about the details. My sister's a doctor, um, and um, you know, but some other people that are actual tooth specialists. It turns out that one of my close friends is is from Ukraine, um, and he actually grew up, I, I believe, in in uh, Ukraine in Kiev and uh, he became a tooth doctor um, we used to play a lot of chess together uh, so um you know he's doing pretty well now as a tooth doctor um and i remember always being very serious and uh, yeah it's it's a, it's definitely a serious thing so make sure you get someone who um, has a lot of experience um and uh, we're gonna look at some pictures here today some of them are a little bit scary and i have to say that you know, I've looked at uh, a number of videos. It was really frightening at first looking at the videos. Um, and then I kind of, after seeing, you know, 10, 20 videos on uh, tooth, um, maybe less than that. But, you know, I, I tried to see as many as I could. Um, and, uh, you know, it was really scary. So uh, I would say definitely prepare yourself for, um, you know, it, it's, uh, um, it is, you know, kind of frightening. And, but uh, in general, um, you know these these people are trying to help um, and find a doctor that you can talk with um, and that um, is willing to take their time um. so I wanted to look at the problem internationally this is a x-ray image um, I'm actually a little scared of getting x-rays even this is a full x-ray so you get the full jaw sometimes they do just a little section but you can also get this kind of x-ray um, and it is a risk getting an x-ray, but you know, quite honestly, you should be able to see what the problem is. Um, but sometimes in the internal tooth, there's areas that you can't really see. And this is a great image because you can see how important actually it's like a tree, right? You have almost half or even more in terms of lengthwise of the tooth being under in the jaw. So there's quite a lot to pull out if you do have a bad tooth and it's not a terrible process there's definitely a difference um, you should definitely look at the videos and see what you prefer um, it could be scary and things like that but let's try to focus on the health side of things so again what I wanted to say here is that man it feels great to have a good tooth in my mouth and I was in pain a little bit um, at one point I was even scared that my tooth was going to fall out and eventually it came back but um, and there's a friend of mine that you know he has such bad teeth that he says even now he's willing to try to keep his situation it could be dangerous you know the thing I worry about in his situation is it's such a bad situation that man you know it's, it's actually dangerous even getting them pulled because there's so many to do so kind of doing it in stages is maybe the best way don't 
go in and get, I, I don't know, ask a doctor, but man, getting everything removed all at once, that could be really dangerous. So I, I don't know about that. So, um, you know, I would say get get what you're comfortable doing. Um, and definitely we're going to look at some pictures here in a moment. So um, let me just jump right in and show you a quick few pictures. I want to show you this one first. So this one, um, you can see there's a little tool being put in on the side of the tooth here. So they basically edge out the edge of the tooth here and then pull it out. Now these two have already been pulled out. You can see what happened beforehand. So that's pretty bad in that situation. Um, but you can see they pull it out there. Um, that one's being pulled out there. And then there's a gripper that they grip and pull it out. So it looks pretty bad. Now you can see that the tooth even below here is quite deep. Um, here's another example. And I'm sorry to do these so quickly because it's really could be stressful for some people looking at some of these images. But man, please, if it's if you're in a lot of pain, um, think about uh, getting something done. I wanted to show... Uh, this image because basically what happens is that there's a little bit of a root canal through here right so what happens sometimes if, if you break the top of your tooth it breaks into this area and then it gets into your nerve and it can actually infect this whole nerve down to the jawbone then what happens is pus can come up through the side and you can get really sick or even die so Basically, they do a root canal, and I'm uncomfortable with the whole process. Man, it, it looks very complicated. So they, they drill down one side, drill down the other side, and clean out the whole nerve, and then basically try to get rid of that infection inside your tooth. So it does get infected. That's the scary part here, right? So it turns like black, or it gets you know infected, and then it infects all the way down into the root. So you pretty much got to get it removed. I don't know the exact details. Like I said, we're going to look at an actual image here. My friend told me that we could look at his image. Um, so, um, you know, here's the image here. I'll give you a quick look at it. So maybe you're a little bit afraid to see this. So we're going to go back to this really quick. So um, in general, what I wanted to say, we're going to go back to those images and maybe even circle some things. But let's look at exactly what's going on in the teeth. So you basically have four front teeth and then two canine teeth here. Those are actually a little bit deeper if you noticed on the image. And then you have two of these premolars and then a bunch of the molars back here. So when you're first born, interestingly, you have child teeth, right? Baby teeth, and those are 20 of those. But by the time you're adult, you have 32. So you have 16 here and another 16 there. And you can see these are the front four again, the front four and then the canines on either side and then the premolars and then molars, right? So that is basically that. And actually this is all 16, I guess, right? So um, that's a full set right there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I actually got um, some removed. Um, I wanna look at a couple of the statistics um, here. We're gonna run through that. So. Uh, let's first look at the problem so estimated people needing immediate care so this number shocked me right so I was just like one in four people on the planet need not just care so it's 50% or 60% need actual dental care but in terms of in pain or maybe immediate care one in four people and this is kind of the data around the world and that is even kind of susceptible susceptible right so I got a number of other things here I wanted to look at so um, before we go into all the details I wanted to say that this is a scary thing is that you know teeth play an essential role in how we talk our appearance our self-confidence man this is sad right so basically it's it's scary right like really if it you know a lot of things depend on our teeth we we eat we bite approximately 2,000 to 3,000 times per day. Um, and, <clears throat> um, you know, we get 20 baby teeth and 32. So every person has a unique tooth print. Um, so it's like a fingerprint. And you also have what's interestingly is a tongue print that's unique. Um, and actually, these are the strongest parts of your entire body. So um, that's also very interesting. Um, here's some more statistics. So you can see 60% of children worldwide need um need to get their teeth checked out um so um and then you can see uh 15 10 to 15 percent have severe 
gum disease, and then 3.5 billion people um, are really struggling. Um, so there's a lot of situations on on this. So I wanted to do about the time. You know, when I went into the dentist, um, this is about the truth. It's a, it's a one hour to two hour thing. You can get things done in 30 minutes in some cases with a cleaning, um, but. Basically, it's 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 a trip uh, to the dentist. Um, so you want to, and sometimes you have to go in once and then come back again a second time. Um, and actually, I prefer that because it's quite a long experience. So um, anyway, so here's some of the costs um, for a dental visit around the world. So you can see, United States is actually the highest in terms of cost, uh, but actually, um, hundred dollars. What? The truth is that sometimes if you're in a low income bracket, you can ask them about the idea or you can go to a community dentist um, like we have in our town and they'll you pay as a percentage of how much your income is. So I don't know if they have that around the world, but you can see India $7 only to $30. Some people even go on dental tourism, believe it or not, to get their teeth done in other countries. I do not know exactly what the details are, but certainly you should get to know your doctor no matter where you're getting this done. So, um, but uh, you can see Nigeria is actually a little more expensive than you might expect, right? 25 to to $100, so Africa, so even though you might go on these, try to find out, get your teeth done somewhere, but uh, China is actually a little bit affordable, but there's um, definitely prices ranging from cleaning all the way up to this and I don't want to go into the details too much because I don't know the exact prices on this so um, but these are estimates um, from AI and ChatGPT but um, you can see here tooth removal costs basically being um, you know anywhere from ten dollars to a few hundred dollars for a tooth and then um, you can see the major cities costs in their currency versus costs in the American dollar. And you can see here that India being fairly lower cost, uh, Cairo, Egypt, and Karachi. And then you can see Shanghai actually being as expensive or even more expensive than Tokyo, which is interesting. So um, so let's take a moment here, um, a break, because there's just so much to talk about. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really um, wanting to look into the details here. So um, again, uh, we're gonna take a quick look at um, a specific uh, person's teeth here. So uh, it might be really stressful, um, but uh, you know, basically, again, um, you know, we want to kind of remember that the tooth is alive, right? It actually has a nerve inside of it. That could be something to think about. And there's like some green or weird pus that could come out on the edge of the tooth and you can get it there's several different varieties there's like three varieties of this you can get it internally you can get it at the root base or you can get it on the side um, so there's a bunch of different cases now we're gonna look at this quickly but you can see there's a cavity back in here a cavity back up here entirely loss of the teeth here and back in here now most people chew on the right side um, of their mouth so you can see the teeth have been lost there on the right and basically my my friend told me it really hurts on this side as well and it probably hurts extremely bad up there as well so here you can see just the front teeth and some other maybe even pus on the side here so that could be and maybe the gums really hurt badly as well so sorry I wanted to try to look at that quickly but uh, again getting him removed in that case he's you know he might have to get many teeth removed so that is a very complicated situation he's only around 65 years old this can happen quickly um, you know, you can have a teeth decay in a year, you know, you break the top off and then all of a sudden you're down at the root and you can get infected very quickly. Um, think about how bad an infection can get so and quickly this can happen. So anyway, so I wanted to, uh, again, look at these again. You can see what they do is they pretty much put it around the edge here. There's different videos and different things. They have a drill bit there too, but uh, sorry about this. So they open the mouth a, a bit there and then they pull it out like that and you can see this one looks bad here and you can see the top of the tooth has actually been bitten down there. That happens on my teeth as well. So those may be okay teeth. Um, but you can see it's a quite a grip there to pull it out and then they have to pull it out like this. So here's another example, different video um, on pulling that out. So I want to go back to the x-ray and try to calm everybody down because man, it hurts. So my personal experience again um, is very relevant as well as my friend's experience. So, you know, talk with people, find out 
um, you know, first of all, um, brush the teeth. So I, 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 you know, having my friend have this problem, I, I've been extra careful. Um, I wanted to mention one thing in particular that I, I noticed is that um, brushing your tongue also helps too. So a lot of people don't know about that hidden little secret, but brushing your tongue is as important as brushing your teeth um, and getting all the bacteria off your tongue. My tongue has a lot of stuff by the end of the day. I try to brush it, um, you know, as many times as I can in a day. Um, especially if you're going on a date, meeting people, you want to have a clean mouth, um, or even just talking with people. Um, so I try to think about that regularly. My teeth are not exactly the best. I, I had a very you know, messed up teeth and then I got braces and some things. Um, but, uh, and I'm very happy and thankful, but, uh, you know, what I want to say is that, you know, I, I was really scared at one point that I was losing a tooth. Um, I got the tooth done and I'm very thankful for the person that, that repaired my tooth. And I'm very thankful, um, you know, to be able to try to help, um, with teeth. So it's perhaps one of the most important areas of food. And I just wish I could emphasize and understand even myself how important teeth are so um yeah it's just uh, super important um so uh anyway take a look at the x-rays um um or actually just take an image of your own teeth to see what it looks like um and uh, maybe take a careful look at it so you can see we took a picture here one open mouth one closed mouth um and we're still gonna try to see what we can do over time obviously my friend is in so much pain another thing i wanted to mention here sorry i keep bouncing back to this image because it's kind of scary sometimes but um you know my friend is so much in pain that he doesn't even feel like brushing his teeth so and he feels like it's a hopeless situation and man you know i i use a dental pick sometimes and pull out some of the plaque because it's hard to get some of the stuff so um, let me pause and show you what that looks like. so some sometimes you got to be careful um, because you can pick away the plaque on or you can pick away the plaque and then also get into your tooth and you don't want to do that so basically just get the plaque off the, the side of the teeth and where I get it stuck is down in the bottom here primarily in my front four teeth the front two even are really bad so I have to pick that out sometimes carefully every you know as as often as possible so and I also do try to floss um, sometimes if I feel some pain or something stuck in my tooth. So definitely flossing is very important as well. So um, and uh, you kind of get familiar with your teeth, you know, where your bad spots are and things. And certainly it feels a lot better to talk with people with a clean mouth. Um, I brushed my teeth um, before this. I'm going to brush them after. Let me go brush right now and I'll come back. Okay, thanks for giving me a chance to brush my teeth. It really helps me remember about some details. So again, you know, when I just brushed my teeth, obviously trying to get back here as soon as possible because I feel like I'm trying to help everybody. But again, um, you know, I did brush my tongue again. And the other thing is, you know, I went through and I brushed the back of my teeth, the front of my teeth, you know, going, going one way and then also brushing up and down. So vertically and horizontally is important. Um, and getting the plaque out is super important as well. So using a, uh, some kind of floss or dental pick, you know, you can see it in your mouth and getting a regular checkup. So, man, I still didn't even feel like I brushed it good enough because I was trying to get this <laughs> figured out here. So I'm going to try to, anyway, but I really hope, you know, if you're if you're in significant pain, man, um, please try to get some things checked out. Um, you know, even in this case, this guy was able to get this repaired, right? We certainly are going to see what we can do about my friend's uh, situation. It's really bad, and I'm sorry about the images here, but it is possible to get something done. And we looked at some of the um, costs and things, you know, under $100 or $100 or so can maybe get a tooth removed, plus a dental checkup, which may cost some additional money just to do the checkup. So. Um, but, uh, you know, try to see what you can do, um, and talk with others. You know, I, I'm really surprised sometimes I try to help people out sometimes, um, you know, with, with some, um, things and, um, you know, you may be able to find some financial help with some other people around town, you know, neighbors, friends, uh, whoever, just ask around you can really gain a lot. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go brush my teeth again. Thank you so much. I hope this has really helped you out, um, man. And just please at very very minimum brush the tongue um, and get um, healthy and things like this and I'm so thankful I hope this will really help you out